and I'll be sticking her in this little base that I'm going to make out of this seashell and just get a little piece of epoxy sculpt and press it into it and let it harden up. And then I can paint and kind of glimmer this piece up a little bit. Easy, easy. To make a base, I'm just taking two balls of epoxy sculpt that I have mixed together and then I'll just kind of flatten it out a little bit and press it down on my table and I have some plastic over my table so the epoxy sculpt won't stick to it and then I just press the shell into the epoxy sculpt like that and then I'll need to let it harden. If you have other little shells and such you want on there it's a good time to press them in otherwise you can wait and do it after the epoxy sculpt has dried and just use glue. So then I put my doll in and make sure that she's gonna fit and sit the way I want her to and that she'll sit with the base really well. And then I do that a few times throughout this process to always check it that it's gonna work with the doll. And then you wanna make sure that you pull some of this epoxy sculpt up over the edge of your shell. That way it will lock it in place when it completes curing and it's hard as a rock. So that's how you do a simple little mermaid base. Here's how our base is looking. Now this is hard as a rock. That epoxy sculpt stuff is really great that way and our shells are embedded inside of it. So now I just have this grayish looking material that I want to cover. What I have for covering the epoxy sculpt is a flesh tone ceram coat by Delta and then I have some sand I'll be sprinkling on it after it's dry. And I'll be adhering it with matte gel from Liquitex and I also have the liquid version of this too. Here's a hint. Use your Genesis heat gun on low heat. That way you don't have to wait for your coats to dry. You just zap them with the heat gun on low heat and they'll dry quickly. Next I've got some triple thick glaze and I'm going to add in some Perlex powders, interference violet, what that means is that the violet only shows in certain lights, like as you tip it, kind of like a hologram. And also some macro pearl, which will give it a lot of nice shimmer. I think I'll add a little bit more of that. My triple thick has been sitting for a little bit, so it is super thick. So I'm going to add in just a little touch of water again. And then I don't want very much, but just a little bit of the red blue duo. And I'll just mix it over on one side. So that side's a little bit pinker. So I'm going to start with that little pinker section and place it down low. This will just give this whole shell a really nice shimmer. Now I've gone through on the front and put more triple thick and now I'm just pinching on some little sand bits. Then I've also added a little bit of the matte gel medium to help the sand stick. I'm also going to add just a tiny bit this super 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 fine glitter so it just has a little bit of sparkle polyflake glitter then let it dry and then just blow off the excess and that's all there is to it be sure to seal the bottom as well so it has a nice thick varnish on it to keep it from scuffs and bumps and there you have a sweet little mermaid base that's really easy to make.